Hello everyone, Racemon here. <clears throat> Today I'm in automation, they've updated the game quite a lot since I last played it. And I actually tried recording this previously, but the game decided to kind of crash. No, I'm just kidding. D I'm good, no. The game didn't crash, I just screwed up on my end. Because I had recorded the video in like three segments. And... I might have forgotten to record my audio on the third. So we're going to go ahead and create a four door. Um, what kind? I have no clue. We'll just go for like a standard, let's say, 35 miles per hour, mile, mile per hour, miles per gallon vehicle. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully, I can do this. And I think every vehicle nowadays <clears throat> has double wishbone, right? And on the rear they either have something like that, or... I don't know. I'm gonna say they all have semi-trailing. And then we're gonna build it out of aluminum, because, you know, that's what everything's made out of nowadays. Um, I haven't been recording for quite a while because, well, I had an issue with my resolutions and stuff. So, I couldn't record for quite a while. But, now that's fixed. Or, I think it is. <clears throat> so, I can go back to recording. Although, the colors do look a bit wrong on my side. Hopefully they look right on y'all's side. But, I'm gonna fix that on my end at some point. <clears throat> and my voice is dying. No idea why, just my voice is dying. <clears throat> wow. It really is. As well as my voice is dying, I feel sick. Mainly because my dogs open the rear door, and you might be like, oh, dogs can't open doors. Well, our dog's been opening our back door and letting cold air in. So that's great. That's really great. And it makes me angry that my dog's been doing that. Well, it's not my dog, but I mean, it makes me angry that the dog's been doing that. Because it shouldn't be doing that. And it has. This car. Oof, this car. I'm just gonna leave it at that, I think. Maybe add the indicator. There we go. So we got that. Maybe we can add the indicators on the bottom instead. <clears throat> Or actually, do we have lights that I can put on and change the color? Eh. <clears throat> we'll put these on instead. That looks fine, I think. I don't think we'll mess the hood. As always, put one there, and I think I can put one on the wing mirror. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Let's, we gotta size it down. There we go. It's on the mirror. <clears throat> I don't know why, but my voice really has been dying. Wow. I might have done this body before. Oops. Yep, I might have. <clears throat> if only I could put a handle back here. I wish. I wish I could, but I can't. No. 
Grills. Gotta pick that one. Make it open. Or actually, that one's open. There we go. And we can add a little wing. Just because. Right on the trunk. There we go. Now we just need to add our handles, which I almost forgot. I was actually about to... <laughs> I was about to go and make my engine before I was going to make my handles. And it's silly of me. Good enough. And I'm going to say the vehicle is done. And I think it is. It's just that front end looks a lot more better. A lot more better? looks better than the rest honestly but it doesn't fit the car but you know th this will do this will do so let's go ahead and pick my color which looks wrong on this monitor again <clears throat> but that's just that's on my end we'll make it a Ooh. I guess an inline six would be fine. Can we fit a 2.5 liter? Come on. Yes, we can. Okay. So, let's see what I can do here. <clears throat> I'll make it turbocharged, why not? Of course, it'll be direct injection with performance intake. Short cast. None, none, and none for now. Okay then. So it's running really rich and it has a lot of turbo lag, so. Maybe we can adjust that. Bear in mind, I don't mess with turbos usually. Wow, it was actually more efficient whenever I didn't touch it. So we'll leave it there. We'll increase the RPM. Oh. Let's go to 77, I guess. 75. Okay. So still running lean, I think, is what that is. So if I put more fuel, I'd have to make up that much. But if we decrease compression... Oh shit. Right there. So we need to make up one. Point zero one. Which can be made up easily. So I gotta find that sweet number. Oh, okay. Which would be right there. That's a sweet number right there. 210 and 210. That's good. That's really good, actually. Okay, so if I decrease the boost a little bit. A smidge by smidge. 
Okay, right there. I gotta pick up two horsepower. And I don't know if I can do that. That was just running straight. Wow, that was... Oops. So I already had a getting efficient engine, but it could have been better. So let's see, let's see, let's see. What's my special number? 55. Right now. Let's add a baffled three-way. Uh, baffled again. Or actually reverse flow. Oh no, reverse flow will be first, then baffled. Okay. Then we'll of course shrink it a little bit. Choke the engine, mate. No, I'm just kidding. Oh boy. Okay, so at that point it doesn't get any better. Right there is as good as it can get. Then we'll just have to tune it here. Which it looks like about right there is pretty good. We've got a lot to play with. So let's increase it. Right there. Need to increase compression to get some power out of it. Or we can just do boost. We can boost it. Uh, it ups the torque. 8.38 is apparently what it's tuned for. Ooh. Okay. We'll leave it there because I wasn't paying attention to it. So again, the economy doesn't get much better. So right there, we can decrease the compression again. Let's see if we can increase the ignition timing. No, we can't. Not to make that better. We can run it even leaner. Okay. At this point, that does me no good. Darn it. What is there left to do besides increase compression? And then compensate. Which is that. That's what I got. Nice, nice, nice. What's my miles per gallon after I put it together? I'll do sequential because, you know, why not? Wow, look at that. That, that, that band. It's like once you hit boost, man, it's like, oh. So I go for automatic locker, I guess? Actually. Engineering time is high on that, but that's okay. So we'll go with medium compound, I guess? Okay, 235 is... It's, it's okay for this, but come on. it's That's a bit big. Why is it so big in the front? Come on. Anyway, right? Let's just go for that. And offset them.
Okay. Forgot to pick my material, which will be magnesium. We're gonna do vented, two piston, solid, three piston. And hopefully that works. We're going none. Cooling flaps. Bring it all the way down. Surprisingly, we don't need that much cooling, but I'm gonna send some of the cooling to the brakes. Come on. Close enough. We'll go with five seats. We'll go with premium. Standard. Enable everything except for launch control. Standard. Uh, progressive? And gas monotube, semi-active. Uh, comfort. <clears throat> and our miles per gallon is 36.6. That's pretty good. Nailed it already. In record time. No, I'm just kidding. Not record time. But, you know, for me it is. So from that point, it just gets worse. Okay. So I managed to hit a sweet spot. All right. Um, okay. There it is right there. fine-tuning this transmission, yo. Oh, what was that? What'd it do? It went from 37.6, then just dropped to 35. Ah, that's a big drop. Can I get 38? <clears> Thirty-seven point nine. Come on. Darn it. There's 38, I saw that. is gonna be my sweet number, apparently. Still 38. Oof, it did not like that. Still can't get better. So that would, that would just be left in the engine department, I guess. Let's see, brakes. We need better front brakes. And if we add another piston, we add four pounds. Not worth it. Okay. We'll just do three piston. That does not bring me where I want to be. Four piston. How about three piston? Will we try and not go over 44.8. Ugh. Okay, that's that's close enough, I guess. Then my rear brakes are really strong. Good enough for me. We have a lot of negative downforce. Wow.
I mean, that's kind of fine, but that's a lot of negative poundage, where if you're going 150, your car is feeling about 150 pounds lighter. That's not exactly good. But it was semi-clad. Can do semi-clad. We can do that. What if we did none? So none is that. Okay. This is a heavy car, to be honest. So now we've got our engine here. That drops our economy. I wonder if I could fine tune this. Well, no, because it's already at the top. What about this? Okay, so we go up one, we drop that. Okay, so stroke is better than bore, apparently. But of course it does strain the engine a lot more. Oh no! My octane. Come on. <clears throat> I don't want to be fine-tuning this all day. Wow, my voice died there. <clears throat> Voicey, come back. You can blame it all on me. Damn it. Thirty-eight point nine. Is it's I? No, just kidding. Ugh, wow! Look at those wheels. Oh, gross. I'm sorry, but dude, no. So we have a zero to sixty-two of six seconds. That's pretty good. It only weighs three thousand pounds. Wow, it's light. I don't know exactly what we're building, but I guess this is what we're building. I guess. I don't know. Oh no! I brought it back down. Well, I've done screwed myself with the turbo. That's great.
Oh, man. It doesn't give me much room to play with on this end, honestly. But okay. Why you do this? Seriously. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about this whatsoever. Oh, man. <clears throat> not happy about it at all, currently. God. Thirty nine, okay. Point one, point two, point one. <clears throat> you can tell when someone's really thinking, and I'm really thinking right now because boy, does this not want to treat me well. So, again, right there, that's as far as it'll go. <clears throat> Cooling has gone down. Nice. 39.4. We're gonna leave it there. That's a really nice car. But of course, like always, we're gonna run it on the Top Gear. You know, it's not Top Gear, but it's a air fuel track, but it's basically Top Gear. So, let's see how it does. And across the line, that did it in a 1 minute 28.33. So about one and a half minutes. That's not bad, but I would say that's that's pretty that's pretty good for it, for what it can do. <clears throat> Considering it has a comfort tune, which honestly it needs to be updated. Just a little bit. So it does, let's see the markets really quickly. It does not do well in any of the markets whatsoever. So this is a very, very picky car. Oof. A small everyday use car that is practical but agile and fun to drive isn't kind of what it is. It is kind of a family sport because it has a four door. Uh. <clears throat> A muscle car on a very tight budget. Big engine, rear drive, yet practical and reliable. Seems kind of weird. A reliable vehicle for comfortable, safe, and economical long-distance travel. This is, nope. 
What about commuter premium? Commuter premium? No. This is not a premium car. Sport budget? No. <clears throat> Honestly, these can all be changed on the on the interior. Like all of this could be changed on the interior. So let's say I'll make a 10% profit. Then it would be it, it's competitive in a lot of areas. It's affordable in four areas nicely. Like the fun, fun premium, it's really affordable there. I think is what that means. Does it? Yeah, 91.7% can afford this car. So that's pretty good. So this is the, I don't know, leave a, leave a name down below if you've gotten this far. But, thank you so much for watching. This has been Racemon, and I will see you later.